Hi guys, this is the look I'll be doing for you today. It is a bold, bright, super metallic, purple, shimmery eye with some really soft liner and soft cheeks and lips. Uh, just to give you something more romantic, but at the same time, bold. So this is my version of a bold, romantic look. Hi guys, it's Music Beauty Life here. I'm just applying my Too Faced Shadow Insurance to my eyelids right now. Today I'm going to be showing you a very vivid, bright, purple, shimmery eye that's going to be really pretty with a soft lip and a soft cheek. And I'm just going to be doing something to get a little bit of color into my life today and to do something a little bit different and fun. Now I'm going to take a bit of milk and pop it onto my eyelids, if I can find it, yeah. So the milk helps because it's going to really make everything a lot brighter. Just want to get it all the way up to the brow bone. And we're just going to blend it out anyway, so it's no big deal. If it's messy or anything like that. You really want to get it into the corner of the eye as well because it's going to brighten the whole lid. So you get a nice bright white lid. So I'm just pressing on the shadow with something that it looks like a concealer brush. It's a, it's a synthetic brush, but it is actually an eyeshadow brush. And um, although I have used it for a neutral eyeshadow, so it does look like it is a concealer brush. But I promise you it isn't. Uh, so I'm just going to use this to kind of pat this into our lid because we really want to get a very high concentration of color. And then we're going to blend it out with a softer brush on the edges. And using a synthetic brush like this, it's really going to give you more of a foiled appearance because of the way that it sort of blends it into the eye area. So we're just packing on the color. I'm just using it from the lid here. And we want to get our highest concentration of color obviously close to the lash line. But we do want to get some color up above the lash line as well. I'm sorry, up above the um, lid. We want to get a little bit in the arch here. But you don't need to add more product. You can just kind of blend what you have upwards. So the next step, once you get the color basically on, is to apply a nude, uh, a matte nude shade. I'm using Navajo by Bobbi Brown. And I'm just taking that on a stiff brush. This one is the C433 Pro blend Blending Fluff brush and I'm just going to add that nude matte color into this area here it's actually more of a off-white it's not really a nude just so that we're being technical and now we're just going to start working on blending that line with the very same brush upwards. So that you get a really pretty gradient of color. And it looks really professional and blended out. So that is the basic eyeshadow look, but just to make sure that everything's really nice and blended on the lid, I'm going to take a detailing brush and just pop it into a very small amount of the color. Uh, you really don't want to get too much because you will get a lot of fallout with this type of brush. So I'm also going to tap it off. And I'm just going to smooth just a touch of the color over the eye to make sure that it became nice and smooth. And it's completely even. So it's basically like a second coat, but also a little bit of blending. But you don't want to go anywhere near that blended outline because that will definitely um, lose its softness. So you can see it's got a really pretty gradient of color. I'm going to be using Etu Bouquet, which is a frost. 
by MAC. I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush and I'm going to line just right underneath my eyes. It's going to give a brightening effect. Next I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line with a black pigmented pencil. I'm using Cargo's High Pigment Pencil here. And to take the tight line, if you don't know how to do this, it's easier to just rest your finger on your cheek here. And then kind of half close your eye. And to do that, you could use a gel liner or you can use a powder liner. Today, I'm just going to be using my MAC uh, 266 with a touch of um, Fix Plus. It's what I've been doing a lot lately, actually. I just really like the way it turns out. I'm just wetting the brush a little bit. And then I'm putting it into a matte black shadow like this one, which is the Pure Color Eyeshadow by Estee Lauder. So you just want to build up a little bit of paste on this brush, and you want to get a very thin line. You can see I'm just sort of tapping it at the water at the uh, lash line, and this works really well. Now what I am going to do is just increase the corners just slightly without winging them out. I'm not going to wing out this look at all. Big shock. Uh, I'm always winging everything out. But I'm just basically creating a very small triangle, which is just going to increase how our lashes look. And then I'm just going to take this whole area. And because this is a very shimmery look, I'm not actually going to set the eyeliner. Uh, I'm just going to leave it to pick up some of the shimmer from the purple. But I'm just going to very gently blend out that corner, just a touch. So we have a nice pretty corner shape without having a wing. It's very nice and um, just slightly different from what I usually do. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. For blush, I'm using the Close Up Palette by Smashbox, and I'm going to be using this color here, which is just a really pretty soft pink. And it is matte, and I'm just going to use that on my MAC 138. And once I get that all blended in, I'm also going to add the Smashbox, the Smashbox Soft Lights Tint which is this really gorgeous color. This does have shimmer in it, but I'm just going to add that onto the cheekbone. This is actually a really yummy color and I like to layer it. I think it turns out really pretty because it's quite soft, but um, I like to layer it on top of colors and I find that it gives a really beautiful effect. Uh, now just for fun, I'm going to take a little bit of the e.l.f. shimmer palette and I'm taking this nude shade right here. I'm just going to apply that right to the tops of my cheekbones. So now I'm just going to mist my face with some Fix Plus, Fix Plus to get everything kind of melting in and to prevent any dry skin areas. And while I'm waiting for that to set in, I'm going to do my lips and I'm just adding a little bit of the Bobbi Brown Sand Wash Pink Lip Liner. just to define the lips a little bit. This is basically my lip color, just like one shade darker. Now I'm taking one of my favorite colors. Uh, this is a Lancome color. It's Color Fever in Beige Every Day. This is such a beautiful color. It's a beige with just a touch of pink in it. And it also has a little bit of gold in it. And it's just it's so pretty. I love this color. Then just in the, just over the whole look, you can add a touch of gloss. I wouldn't add a shimmery gloss since this lipstick is shimmery and then the eyes are very shimmery. So I'm just taking just a touch of the uh, e.l.f., what is it called? The Hyper Shine Gloss. 
And this is just in, I can't get it out. And this is just in, you know, one of their non-shimmery shades. And this is just going to soften up the lip color just a little bit and give it loads of shine. So guys, that is my beautiful bright purple look for summer or spring or whenever you need a little color in your life. I just wanted to do something fun and different today and I decided to use that hip pigment that's just been sitting in my drawer for ages. I just think that um, purple is such a fun color to wear and you know you can get away with it almost any time. So I hope you will try this super easy look. It just has a three colors in it, a matte black shadow, a matte nude or white shadow and then a super shimmery, bright purple shadow, so that's pretty easy to do. Uh, and then you just throw on some mascara and some eyeliner, so it is pretty easy. Uh, of course, I did use the pink shimmery shadow underneath the, which you can see it's a bit of a highlight, underneath the um, bottom lashes, but you don't have to do that if you didn't want to. So I hope you guys are having a great, great day. I just want to say thanks so much for tuning in and watching this video, and I hope if you have any comments or questions, you'll contact me, especially if you have any requests as I'm building a new request video. Uh, I'm sorry, as I'm building my request list every day, and I have some pretty cool, exciting videos coming up. And also, I feel like I should mention the giveaway, which is coming up really soon. I believe it's uh, June 25th that I am going to be giving away my huge Mac giveaway with three prizes, which I'm very excited to share with you. Uh, makes me feel really good to give back to you guys because I feel like you guys give me so much and I love being on here and I really appreciate your support. So I just want to say thank you and that's what that giveaway is for. But I'll mention that there is another giveaway coming up. So please stay tuned because in July, actually the very end of July, I'll be celebrating my one year anniversary on YouTube. Although it's not really much of an anniversary because uh, I only did like one video for the first three or four months that I was on here and it was a horrible like four part video. It was really funny. Um, but I just want to celebrate that one year with you guys and so I'll be doing another giveaway. Uh, soon just to say thanks again so stay tuned it's just about a month away and um, yeah hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you all soon bye for now loves